I think there's a reason a lot of gay people are kind of finicky gay people. In a, in in other words, they they think that people hate them because they're gay, um, and that's because there are a lot of people that hate gay people um, because they're gay, and so um, that's why some people are very sensitive, and that's why I understand why people would take this me doing a lisp wrong. Um, where you think I'm making fun of trans people when really I'm just making fun of the million names there are for being gay. But who understands more than anyone uh, that gay people are persecuted? Who has fought people persecuting gay people more than anyone? I think. I have. Why? I, I literally told Saudi Arabia that we will kill them if they don't legalize gay marriage. I said, you don't... You don't have to officiate the weddings. You have to allow them to get married, and you have to give them equal rights. That's it. And what did they do? Well, the next day, they allowed women to eat in the same rooms as women as men. So I was like, wow, well, you, you're giving women rights, finally. But you're not really giving them that many rights. And so, um, I guess threatening people doesn't really help get gay rights passed in certain countries. Unless it does, because there have been countries in Africa that did legalize gay marriage, and I don't know if it was because of me threatening people, because I, I mean, because I, I know that for a lot of conservatives, like you're threatening people. We we barely legalize gay marriage in the United States. Yeah, I am, because um, why do you care if someone wants to try to be happy? And so, um, I don't know, but. All I'm saying is I have fought for gay rights, but and I I do understand like the reason that that bright-minded episode is is that good of an episode is because it is that important from a protecting people perspective. There's a reason that the um, I think that's is, is she trans? I'm, I, it's hard to explain because she's that hot. I'm talking about the um, judge from. RuPaul's Drag Race, the one with gray hair, because um, you, you almost don't know if she's a man or a woman, like, naturally, like, by blood, or by, by genetics, um, because she's that good looking. Um, wait, she, she's, she was talking about how um, sometimes you shouldn't even come out to your parents because it might be dangerous, and you don't, you don't even think about that unless you're, but, but that person has so much experience with that thing happen, with, with people coming out that that's why they're giving that advice and you don't even think wow you would give someone the advice don't be yourself yeah I would because sometimes it's better just to not be yourself until you get to leave your home and then you can be yourself and because when do you become yourself in college probably um, because you, you, you're kind of free to think and so um, sometimes it's better just to wait until college to talk about it if you're in that situation but you don't but then for some of us it's like that's crazy. I'm, I'm all about freedom, but that's because you don't understand how much a person can get persecuted. And, and once you understand how much gay people get persecuted, like I understand, then you understand why gay people are so sensitive to people making fun of them, like by someone use, doing a lisp or something like that, even if you're not making fun of them. Um, but, but they would think you're making fun of them. Because gay people, like, I used to live in Egypt, and when I lived there, they told me, don't wear earrings, um, don't... Um, I can't remember what, what, what they said exactly, but no piercings because they, people might think you're gay and you might get beat up because it's actually dangerous to be gay there. Because in Egypt, they will put you in prison for being gay. I mean, they, there are people in prison right now in Egypt because they're gay. So, um, yeah, that, that in, in a lot of the world, people aren't accepted. In the United States, I feel like people are accepted, but I do actually understand that... Um, there are mean kids out there and there are mean people out there and um, yeah, they definitely exist.